Ready, Steph? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Let's just start off by talking one more time about this value. It's reliance or over-reliance. The value is that the U.S. is over-reliant on China. I think we've shown that they're not actually over-reliant, they're just reliant. The main two points in this whole debate have been faulty products coming into the U.S. and then also the pollution factor. Let's start off with just public health concern. They finally they did give us an example of deaths. Those deaths happened in China. There were three Chinese citizens that died from a product that was produced in China. That wasn't in the U.S. That's not somebody down the road that was killed. It was a Chinese citizen. That's terrible. But it doesn't really affect the U.S. in their argument. Next, they're trying to maybe quote me on like what's recently going on in the economy. I'm not saying I'm the most credible source, but I am a U.S. consumer. I do know what's happening in the economy. I buy products from China all the time. So I do understand what is going on. Maybe I'm not the most credible source, but I do think it is relevant. The biggest thing though, we do choose to buy these products as the U.S. We're not forced to. Nobody says that you have to buy products from China. We could choose to buy products other places. That's our choice. Then they bring up the FDA problem of not you know, checking in only a half percent at the border when it comes in. It's an FDA problem. That's an internal problem within the United States. As a government agency in, within the United States, it does not show that we're over reliant on China. That shows that maybe we need to spend more money on the FDA to help them you know, check more imports as they come into the U.S. That's a topic for a debate for a different time. But we don't feel that that proves over-reliance. To bring up the coal factories next. Yeah, I mean, China builds coal factories, so does the U.S. So do a lot of nations. It does cause a lot of, cause a lot of pollution, that's true. But so do a lot of other types of factories. And just because they produce coal factories, that hurts their pollution. But I believe that we've shown numerous accounts where they're trying to clean up their pollution. They said we only stated one example about the Han River. We did show that example, but also the $32 billion a year they're spending is another example. They've also vowed that by 2010, they're gonna, their number one priority is to increase drinking water. That's their number one priority. Now they could say that it's you know, in the coming, it's not actually being implemented now. The thing you have to take into consideration here is China is just going through its industrial growth stage. It's not like China's been around and been a superpower for the last 50, 100 years like the US. Just 10 years ago, they weren't considered a superpower at all. It's only recently because of this industrial growth that they're becoming a world leader. And because of this industrial growth just happening now, it's gonna take time. But the steps are in place. They are going out of their way to help improve pollution in their own nation. It's clear, we've shown from drinking water, improved uh, air quality. So you have to take into consideration that it's not gonna happen overnight. It really isn't. China has an obligation to their people to improve pollution in their way of life, I agree. But they are. It's pretty obvious that they are. They also stated how, how are the Chinese people being hurt by all this pollution? They made that statement, but they didn't really give any facts. How pollution is directly hurting their Chinese citizens. We've shown where us, or China helping to improve pollution is helping the U.S. citizens. It's improving their quality of life. So if we just had contradictory evidence there, I don't really show, see how it proves over-reliance in any way. I'd just like to wrap up by saying that we have agreed the whole time that reliance does exist between the two countries. It's not that that's the question at hand. It's the over-reliance, an access amount. Do we rely on them on an access amount for their goods? No. We get goods from plenty of other places. Do we rely on them on an access amount? cause pollution, like they cause pollution, but they're also taking steps to clean it up, so there's no access there. For all these reasons, we have proven that the over-reliance of the U.S. and China just isn't the case when it comes to pollution and these faulty imports. Actually, it shows reliance, we'll give them that, but does not show over-reliance. That was the value in the round, and that's what they needed to prove, and I do not feel that they did so. That's why I'd like the judges to vote for a negative value. Thank you. round, I have 
privilege to boil everything down a little bit and kind of present to you um, the main reasons why we feel the judge's ballot should go affirmative. Um, I have three main reasons here that I have listed out. The first one that I have is the presentation of evidence that, has, um, that you've seen from the affirmative team. We have had a lot of evidence that we have presented um, for both of our contentions. We have um, striven to show the, the link between that evidence and our contentions. And as well, we have also drawn a lot of connections back to the resolution. We've drawn a lot of links back to our value and the resolution. That's something that um, the firm team has, has tried to do very hard in this round. Um, and secondly, I feel that there's been a little bit of a lack of evidence from the negative that has actually countered that. They've brought up some interesting points, um, and they've, they've pressed us to bring out more evidence. But what we've seen is we haven't seen the numbers, especially in regards to the pollution. We haven't seen the specific numbers that we need to see. We needed to see the actual proof of how the plan that China has right now is helping. And what we've seen is a lot of money, once again. But a lot of money doesn't always mean improvement. Sometimes you can spend a lot of money on something, and that doesn't mean that it's going to solve the problem. Um, and in order for there to be proof that China is doing something, we would have to see that more than just one example of uh, in one area of pollution. Um, and that one instance really just, just isn't enough. The last thing that I, I really want to point out is going back to the whole line thing that I talked about in my first speech, the line between reliance and over-reliance. And that is really the point, is where does it become over-reliance? It becomes, by our case and our definitions, it becomes over-reliance when you are seeing too much trust by the United States in China in regards to our value, the highest value of the round, which whether they, they did say in cross-examination, there, there are other values that are more important. Well, none of those other values have entered the round. What has entered this round is public health, so that is the highest value. And we must look only under that. And as that is the case, we must look at the impacts on the public health. As that is what we're looking at, we have to look at the evidence that has been brought. We have to look at the examples that have been given. And I feel the affirmative team has shown time after time after time the public health of the Americans is at risk. The public health of the uh, Chinese people is at risk. And ultimately, as we said, the health of the world because of this pollution, and we talked about that. Um, and once again, it's the link. It's the incentive link. That is what ties this all together, as we've said over and over, is the fact that the United that, that China, they, they were right when they said that the United States, um, or that, that does not have to buy the Chinese goods. That's absolutely right. That's the entire point. The United States does not have to buy these goods, but they are choosing to. That shows our over-reliance. We know the goods we're going to be getting from China, but we trust them too much. We trust them too much, and we continue buying these goods in ever-increasing amounts, and we do not have the systems in place to adequately account for this. And because of that, more factories are going up in China because we are buying more goods. More pollution is being created. And once again, you have the vicious cycle that was presented in the first speech. And I really feel that the affirmative team has presented these points that they still stand at the end of the round. And because of that, I urge you to vote affirmative.